some people like to wave their freak flag. We like to wave our geek flag. That's Today right. is Weather Geek Wednesday. Oh, yeah. Helping us out, our good buddy, meteorologist Ari Sarsalari with weather.com. Some mind-blowing... <laughs> Yeah. High res images from space, Ari. Ari, yeah. the satellite picture, we've seen the striations on these uh, typhoon. It's so cool what we can see and understand. That's just the beginning of it. Yeah, I mean, you can see striations, you can see storms on the outer bands, you can see eye wall replacements, you can see all this kind of stuff. And so this is actually going to be really useful. But in order to show you how sweet this new satellite actually is, I want to start out by showing you kind of the regular satellite that we use, okay? And yes, of course, this was Super Typhoon Sodalor on Monday when it was back at peak strength. And yeah, of course, that's a very impressive image. That's still the strongest storm on the entire planet in 2015. But there's a new satellite. It's called the Himawari 8. It's actually been up there for a while, but it just went into operation. Uh, this is from the Japanese Meteorological Agency, and boy, they... They beat us to this one. You gotta just tip your hat to them once in a while when they beat you to it. But look at this satellite imagery. I mean, this is unbelievable. First of all, the regular satellite takes a picture every 30 seconds, okay? So yeah, you put the pictures together and it kind of makes a loop and it looks all right. But this thing is taking a picture every two and a half seconds. So the insane amount of detail you can see on the storm. And you can even see the storms on the outer bands. I'm gonna zoom into kind of the northwest side of it here. Look at that. Those are all individual thunderstorms. Like, you know, if you're just sitting in the United States somewhere and a thunderstorm comes over, it probably looks like that. That's one tiny, tiny part of this storm. But, you know, I was talking about how useful this is for forecasting and kind of seeing how strong the storm is. How about the eye? I mean, when you look at the detail you can see in the eye of the storm, I'm just going to get out of the way so you can see this. I mean, you can almost see, I think you actually can see down to the ocean floor, right, Mike? See down to the ocean floor through there, right? It's unbelievable, and yeah, you can see eye wall replacements and things like that, so uh, here's the kicker, okay? Yes, Japan's got this satellite right now. It's super useful. You can actually access this. It's publicly available on Colorado State's website, but United States, we're not far behind. Uh, our satellite, uh, it, the GOES, it's actually going to be doing the same type of deal by next year, so really cool stuff. You know how you know, cell phones just kind of evolve? It's kind of the same type of deal, and this is going to be the norm before long, guys. Yeah. What's cool, Ari, is the striations, and from what I understand is when these typhoons or hurricanes hit kind of the top of the atmosphere and, and can't, you know, grow anymore, and it kind of causes those striations. Awesome. Very from, cool. From